Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if I'm visible as well as equally audible? We would start right away. So let me just turn on a preview screen to confirm myself. Okay, I'm fairly visible as well as equally audible. Still, I was refresh my screen so that I start receiving the text. If you feel any doubts in the stream or in my explanation, please let me know. Okay, so let us start discussing the solution. But before that, let me introduce myself or rather the agenda of today. Today, we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day. And yesterday's problem was compute before matrix and this problem appeared in Dunzo and this problem is a matrix problem and this is also a prefixum related problem. So this has a quite good success percentage that is 89% and this is a medium level problem. But if you are already familiar with the prefixum technique over matrix as well as over arrays then it would be an easy level problem for you. Okay, So we are given a 2D matrix for a given 2D matrix before. The corresponding x and y of the out after matrix is calculated as okay. Suppose we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, okay, and the result is equals to zero. So what we need to do is suppose I want to calculate for this, I would start from zero till that point, okay. So till that point, the value would be one. Now if I go till here, so till starting till this point, so that would be one plus two, that would be three. Now for this this value would be computed okay so the value of this is 4 now for this all of these value would get added that is 5 plus 1 that is 6 6 plus 4 is equals to 10 okay so basically if you observe this this is nothing but the prefix sum okay prefix sum of a particular matrix now if we move forward what we need to do is it's a little bit I can say that we need to suppose we go from front to back but this time we need to go from back to front. Why? Because the after matrix is given and we need to compute the matrix before. Okay. So what we need to do is instead of doing this to this we need to go from this to this. Okay. This is what you need to do. Now if we move forward and discuss the sample test case that is 1, 3, 6, 3, 7, 11. So for the first one, no additional values would come. This would be, so this would have the values of this part only. Okay, done. So, so let me explain you. Suppose this is a matrix. Okay, suppose this is a matrix. I won't be drawing the rows and columns, just the boundary itself. Now let me explain you. Suppose the first value, the first value would have the values uh, till this point. Okay, this till this point, this would have the values of these two. Now, if we talk about only this value, suppose this, suppose this value, this value would be the whole array. Next, if we move forward, this would be like this. Then for this time, it would compute of this value and this value, only this value. So basically till the sub array part, sub array part, okay. So like this, okay, let me tell you, like this, okay, sorry, like this, like this, like this, okay. I hope am I clear? Still, if you're watching the stream, kindly send me a plus one in the chat, okay. Now, this part would be the same, this would be one only. Then we come to this part. This part is having the sum of one as well as this part. So. 3 is the sum, suppose this is just 3 is equals to 3 is equals to this value plus the value at this value. We already know this value that is 1 and we need to know this value so let us assign it x. This is nothing but 1 plus x, okay. 3 minus 1 is equals to x, x is equals to 2. That is why the value on this side is 2, okay. Then we move forward. So this value 6, so we already know till that point before that point this is 3 so 3 plus x is equals to 6 now this is equals to x so 6 is e so x is equal to 6 minus 3 is equals to 3 that is why the value is 3 itself okay 
fair enough let us move forward now we have again a 3 3 is the sum of 1 and this value 3 minus 1 is equals to 2 now again we have this sum 7 the 7 is equals to 2 plus 2 okay the value till this point okay and the value till this point this is 6 but as we can see we have counted this value again okay just like we did so we would subtract this value that is 5 and from 7 to 5 we get 2 okay this is how we would do it now if we come to this value also we have computed uh, this value at the end okay i hope i am clear with this so what would be the formula the formula for this would be nothing but for this value for this value if so for the first value for i is equal i is equals to 0 okay for i is equals to 0 what we would do is we would have the same value so same it would remain same for i is greater than 0 what we did i is greater than 0 we subtracted this value of it okay so i is greater than 0 but j is equals to 0 okay now we subtracted this value then just the previous value i minus 1 a dash i minus 1 now same goes for that now suppose i is equals to 0 and j is equals to 1 let us see okay so suppose this value so j 1 0 0 0 1 okay this one would be the i value okay we would do that now if this both are greater than 0 then we would add these two value and subtract the diagonal value okay up minus so up minus the value at the left side subtracted with the value at the diagonal part okay let us talk about the implementation the implementation would be same so we would go from back okay we would go from back and this also from back so if i is equals to greater than 0 what we would do is we would have i minus 1 the current value plus i minus 1 we are just editing the after matrix that is given only now for j if j is equals to 0 we are again subtracting j minus 1 now if both are greater than 0 okay so we are just adding this value okay why because we have subtracted two times now it has got subtracted two times so we would add the remaining value now we are just returning the array that is given so we are this is an in place algorithm where we edit the array that is given to us only we are not, not taking help of any auxiliary array now let's talking about the time complexity so we are traversing over each element one once and there are n into m elements so the time complexity would be n into m the space complexity would be constant because we are not using any auxiliary array so i hope things are clear to you still i would wait for the next one minute to see if there is any doubts or not okay so let us just start quickly tell me if you have any doubts or not please like the video if possible okay that's it for today thank you and have a nice day all the best for your placement